All right, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And on this one, we need to talk about the channel filter. So this is a very basic kind of a boring type of uh, device that is super useful and can be very creative. So don't skip the video or just, you know, maybe advance it. I'm going to explain what it is basically and what we can do. And then I'm going to show you what we can, uh, we're going to build something more complex just using uh, this. So for example, we're going to get into sounds like... And then the second example is going to be this one. We're going to build it from scratch. It's going to be. So when you throw this uh, and I'm going to go and solve this one, as soon as you play it, notice that the number one is going to light up. So this what we'll do. We'll listen to the MIDI channel of whatever MIDI uh, you have right here. So if I go to this MIDI, you know, we have some notes blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go to the polysynth. And if I put a polysynth, we get a sound. Of course, we just, we are just getting a MIDI and we are getting it from the channel number one. Now, if I mute this, if I click this, it's going to mute that channel. Now, the thing is that with MIDI on Bidwick, what you can do, you can grab this MIDI and change the channel and maybe make it the number six. That is changing colors, you know, by the way. So when I do this, notice that now everything is going to be coming from the number six. So if I mute the number six, you know, you're just going to get nothing. Another way that you get is that you can select parts of your MIDI and individually change the channel of just this part. So if I put this on the number one, now this is going to be on the number one and the other thing is going to be on the number six. So if I go to the uh, filter, I'm getting just the... You know, everything else, but not the, uh, the triad in the middle. But if I enable the number one, I'm getting all. And at the same time, I just can get that triad on that channel. And, you know, get a different thing from there. And that is, that, that, that's it. That's the, that's the channel filter. You know, that, that's the only thing it does. We can select what we can hear. We can see the incoming signal. And we can mute them or we can not mute them. So let me show you a different take. So I have a, a group directory right here. We are not going to use this one. So I'm going to maybe lower the volume and even, you know, just toggle this off. So this is a group. We have three different uh, parts, three different uh, tracks uh, with a pulse synth inside. And then we have a receiver, right? With a channel filter. So right now we are just not doing anything. So if I uh, kind of solve this and play it, each track is doing something different. This one is playing the highs. This one is playing kind of the low mids. And this one is playing the lows. And all of them are going and are being outputted through this group. That's why when I select them, it says EX Master, which is it's EX1, uh, you know, the group. Now what I want to do, I don't want to do that. I want to grab this three, uh, you know, tracks, and I want to route the MIDI to different channels and catch it on this track and grab them with a the channel filter so I can swap and, you know, do different things right here. So that's what I want. So of course, what we need to do, we need to go to the track and route the signal to a different place. So I'm going to go right here. Notice that this is the channel one. This is the channel two. And I already did this behind the scenes to save time. The second MIDI, you know, the second track, it's the second channel. And the third one, uh, this one, is going to be the third. So it's one, two, and three. All right? Okay. Let me just close this. So, okay. So now we need to tell this track that we need to go to receiver and we don't want to go to the master of the group. So we can go right here, go no to tracks, EX1, which is the directory. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send it to the receiver. Same thing right here. I'm going to go there, go to tracks, EX1, receiver. And the number three, same thing, tracks, EX1, and receiver. So now, so now <clears throat> sorry for that, just had a coffee and it was a little bit too strong. So notice if I play something, nothing comes out. Nothing comes out, but we can see that there, there's some MIDI going on right here. And if I go to the receiver one, notice that we are getting notes. And if I turn this on, we are getting from the one, we are getting from the two, and I need to restart because this is a sustain note. And we are, now we are getting it from the, the three. Notice that we get it once, and then of course it sustains. But it works, you know, we are just, just redirecting different channels 
to one single track and catch it, catching them all with the channel filter. So now the trick is that we want to listen something, you know, we want to catch it. So I'm going to go and grab a polysynth and I'm just going to put one polysynth. And now we're going to get the same thing we were getting with three different instruments, pretty much. So I'm going to go, oh, I made a mistake there. I'm going to go there, do this one. I'm going to go there, do this one because we don't need it. And we are doing all pretty much with one synth. So that's, you know, one way of doing this. Now, you cannot argue that this sounds super boring. <laughs> it sounds boring. So what we can do, I'm going to go and bring an instrument layer. And now we're entering in into the more creative kind of a territory. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to write layer and I'm going to get an instrument layer. We're going to go there and bring an instrument layer. And for now, I'm just going to put it right here. So remember, we are getting sounds from different places. So we can create different layers with different instruments and catch only the ones that, you know, are going to the number one and use one synth and use one sound and then catch only the number two and do a different sound and so on and on and on and on. So for now, I'm just going to go and put this pulse synth right here. And I'm going to say that I want that channel filter right here. So right now, this one is listening and playing all, but maybe I don't want that. I want this to play only the first one. And that's what we get. We just get the first one and we are disabling pretty much everything else. Now, of course, it still sounds dull, so we can do something a little bit better. You know, I'm going to go and right here, maybe select a uh, sound and I'm going to go to my patches that you can get if you become patron. Uh, you know, doing a little bit of promotion. I'm going to do this one. I like this one. So again, this is our patches I do when you get when you become a patron, you get, you know, the package for the Paul synth and a lot of presets. That's pretty much it. So now if I play this, it's going to be a bit more interesting, right? Just a bit more interesting. Now, what if I want to do something with the channel too, right? I, I want to do something with the channel too. So I'm going to go and bring another polysynth. Why not? I'm going to go to the polysynth. And now this one again, it's just listening to pretty much everything. But we want to do the same thing. I'm going to go to the filter and I'm going to put it right here. And on this one, I don't want to listen to the number one. I want to just listen to the number two. And on the number two, we're going to do something else. I'm going to stop it and find a different, uh, a different patch. <laughs> Wrong button. Uh, I'm going to find a different patch. Again, I'm going to go to my, uh, my plugins, uh, my presets, and I'm going to load a lead. <laughs> Why not? We can do whatever we want right here. Maybe I'm going to go bring this one. Yeah, so that's how it sounds. Notice that if I solo this one, it's just it's just killing everything. So I'm going to need to solo this one. And we get that vibe. Now it's a bit strong, so I'm going to go down there. Right. And now if we combine everything we have, we are just getting a more complex sound. So we need to do something with the lows. So I will bring a pulse synth and do a filter. And in this one, remember, we need to filter the number two. And I'm just going to enable the, the number three. And I'm going to find the patch uh, from my patches. I'm going to choose this one, which is a bass sound. Since this is a bass sound, you know, it's just a lower. We're going to get a bass. Now that, you know, with one single dumb you know, device, we are getting a very complex sound. Of course, just we need to manage a little bit of the volumes. And notice that we have three layers, so now we can do whatever we want. We can go crazy. I can even go right here and uh, bring a multi-note. Because this one, the first one, is just one single, you know, one single note. I can just bring the multi-note and make it a chord. And now you're making a chord, a mid-tone, which is the lead, and you're doing a bass sound with pretty much nothing. Right. What else do you want? Right. So let me just show you a different example. And it's going to be a little bit, you know, pretty much the same idea, but it's a little bit different. So this is the channel filter. Let me just toggle this active. So this is the track, channel filter. Maybe I just should call it, you know, something else. So remember that within a MIDI, we can go right here. And I already did it behind the scenes. 
because you know, I'll already show you how to do it. We can select different parts of the MIDI and send it to different channels. So this one is going to the number four, this one is going to the number three, this ones are going to the number two, and these ones are going to the number one, right? So instead of creating a directory and creating different parts, we just can go and put it on a single MIDI, put all the parts on a single MIDI and just change the channels on each MIDI. And then we just can kind of reproduce or do the same thing. We can bring a layer. Oh, let me first get the layer. So I will uh, put the layer right here and we need to do the same trick. So I'm going to pretty much, you know, put it right here and we're going to duplicate it. Now we have four MIDI channels. Yeah, we have four channels right now. So this one will be listening to the number one and none of the rest. This one will be listening to the number two. This one will be listening to the number three. And this one will be listening to the number, uh, of course, number four. Now, of course, we need to bring some sounds. And on this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something simple. I'm going to do something simple. So the uh, number one, if I remember correctly, because I don't, is going to be uh, this one, the lows. So I want to bring something low. So, okay. So I'm going to do a multi-layer right here. I'm going to maybe put it right here. And I'm going to bring something special. And again, well, I'm just doing a little bit of promotion. What I did, I, I sampled, multi-sampled my Model D, and I'm doing it from, you know, to pretty much all my analog synthesizers. And I just turned this on a multi-sample. And what I did, I just got, it created some presets based on, based on that. So there's one I really like, it's called uh, Dark Bass, which is this one. So I'm going to bring it. And what I did, I did all the macros to replicate the Model D kind of a interface. So remember, on this one, I can solo, and we are not going to get a problem. We're gonna get that sound, you know, it's... And all of this is just, you know, multi-sampled from the Model D, from Berger. We're getting just the number one. So let's do the other ones. I'm gonna go right here and bring a polysynth. So I'm gonna bring a lead. All right, so that's my lead. And now if I solo this one... So let's do another thing. This one is going to be the number three. And again, I don't remember which one is the number three. I guess it's the chords. Yeah, it's the chords. So we need kind of a, some keys. So notice this is the bass, this is the lead, and this is the, uh, the chords. So let's uh, bring another pulse synth right here. And I'm going to search for something that sounds like a key. So I'm going to select that one. I like that one. And I'm going to lower the volume just a little bit because, you know, since these are keys, it's going to sound, you know, pretty loud. from a single MIDI and just patches. All right, so these ones are the highs, you know, just these ones. So, you know, maybe adding some bells, why not? I'm gonna bring another pulse synth and I'm gonna put some bells, bouncing bells. And the bells are very bright, so I'm gonna lower the volume of those ones. And now, you know. What else do you want? What else? From a single MIDI, rerouting the channels and just using the channel filter, you're just getting a complex sound. And just like we did with this one, we can start, you know, messing with the uh, with modulations and throwing things and just, you know, making it a bit more complex. So I told you, you know, this was gonna, this was gonna, this was gonna pay off, you know, with the channel filter. It's a simple kind of a thing, but you can use it in a more creative way. So hopefully you learned something from this one. And uh, remember to like and subscribe and to check Patreon. I upload things to Patreon like the, you know, the patches and the Model D kind of a multi-samples and things like that. So check it out and uh, see you on the next one.